GA, I know you know him and, and have a great relationship with him. Toughness, competitiveness, accountability, sacrifice, togetherness, those were words that were frequently used during this press conference. What type of impact is Darvin Ham going to have on the Lakers? He's going to have a tremendous impact. The, the, the other thing that he brings, and I've had coaches that have this trait, the ability to connect. You know, it's kind of like being a parent with your kids. You know, you, you, you can't have your kids connect to you. You have to go to them. You got to connect with them. And Darwin will do an incredible job of not just with the franchise guys, but with everybody on that roster. And he's going to figure out ways to get those guys to be the best version of themselves. And that's ultimately all you can ask for. Um, if they don't succeed, I don't think it's going to be an X and O issue or an effort issue. It's going to be a personnel issue. Um, and, and some of that was the case last year. That just was not a championship caliber roster. Heck, hell, it wasn't even a playoff roster, right? And, and that's just the reality. Uh, and I think they have to factor in. Listen, the, they're more than likely LeBron and AD aren't going to play 80, 80 games next year. They're going to probably, you're, you're probably hoping you get 70 out of both those guys. So you're still going to have to be a good enough team to have success when those guys aren't out there. And so that's going to be a tremendous job for Palenka in that front office to make sure the roster is one that can compete at a high level. Uh, and then for Darvin to connect with those guys and to make sure that the identity they want to establish day one is a mantra for them in a way of life in terms of how they play the game of basketball. From a player's perspective, what is going to be the top priority once they get the roster together and individually? You know, is it going to be focusing on LeBron or AD or Westbrook? We know he didn't have his best season from a player's perspective. Well, it's a great question. I think it starts with their ability to compete defensively. I just I never since last year that teams were worried about them defensively. They get, they allowed you to play with rhythm and that's a, you know, if you're watching these finals, we saw it in game two. Right. Golden State didn't allow Boston to play. They made them uncomfortable. So I think that's going to be first and foremost. Um, and then they, they do have to try to figure out how best to manage that dynamic of Westbrook and LeBron. Uh, it, it, it's those two that, that they got to figure out a way to how to get those guys to play well. And it's more so, let's face it, it's really about can they get Westbrook to get back to a level that saw him become one of the 75 greatest ever. And if they can do that, and AD can stay healthy, and then they can balance out their roster. There's no reason why they shouldn't be competitive in a very competitive Western Conference. Uh, but it's going to start for me with the identity defensively. That, that's when they won it, they were known as a defensive team. Last year, they were offensive to watch. And so <laughs> that's going to have to change if they want to have a chance to become a significant player in that Western Conference.